to change tack a little bit, you have written and spoken about a culture of inquiry in, in over the years. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what you mean and why it's important? Um, this, this actually uh, goes right back to my doctoral work. I was trying to figure out what I needed in terms of an environment, you know, uh, both physical, but also kind of a spiritual, um, philosophic environment where people could do this kind of research, this practitioner research. And I, I kind of, I like Bohm's idea of the collectively shared meaning in, in culture. And I also really like Saeed's, you know, it's about society's reservoir of the best that's ever been known and thought, you know, I mean, so, um, what do you need in, in a, a culture of inquiry? Well, you need to be safe. You need to be comfortable. You need to feel supported and encouraged. Um, it, it needs to be democratic and non-hierarchical. Um, it also needs uh, love, which is one of my values, where you can be loved into learning and respect it also needs an element of critique. If, if you go back to Siegfried Gutterud's uh, article on love and critique and how you, you need to, to balance that. I mean, you don't want to start out with critique, but I mean, once, and it's all about relationships. I mean, I don't care what you're talking about. It's the relationships that make the difference in the quality of the learning. Whether you're talking about five-year-olds or you're talking about 70-year-olds. You have to start with a relationship. People have to feel it's safe to be vulnerable because talking about your values makes you vulnerable. And so that, that environment, it has kind of a generativity about it. It, uh, it, it supports deep thinking, spiritual experiences. And I, I'm, as I've learned from Parvati, it, it teaches you how to respect other cultures and ways of seeing and doing. So I, that's, that's, I think, pretty much what I mean by culture of inquiry. So would you perceive that a culture of inquiry is maybe a prerequisite for people who are engaging in living educational theory? Well, I think it's a necessity because, um, you know, we're asking people to be aware of what their values are and if they're living according to them. And, and you know, as we say, or as Jack says, we, we are all living contradictions some days. And, you know, where I say I, 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 I love my students some days, maybe I don't behave like I love my students. So, and I need to be reminded. Okay, great stuff. Thank you, Jackie. 